What's up everybody? Hello and welcome back to some more Victoria 3. As always, it's Sean here and we're going to be starting a new campaign today and we will be playing as Greece. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with history, at this point in time, Greece has just broken free of the Ottomans. You can see our little blurb here about the nation is that through a bloody struggle, Greece has won its independence from the Ottoman Empire. Can Greece expand its own borders? Now, the Ottoman Empire in this time period has just begun their decline from their height of the power that was them during the uh, period of EU4. Um, and we need to kind of speed that decline along and get ourselves pretty strong here. Uh, what we're going to do for our first bit of tech here is we're going to get lathes and then go on to research intensive agriculture. The reason for this is that a lot of our early game economy is going to be derived from agriculture. You can see our capital state of Attica has not a ton of pop, but they do have a lot of plantations. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go and encourage agriculture industry. And we're going to take our other state of Peloponnese. Peloponnese, I don't even know. Uh, we're going to do resource industry over here because this has where our iron mine is. So we're going to go and get that built. But first off, I want to get us a construction sector. We'll have to build it in Peloponnese. Actually, going to build it in Attica. Sorry, let's build it where the pops are. There's more pops in Attica, so we'll build it there. Then we're going to get ourselves an iron mine, and we're going to also get ourselves some navy built up. So, as you might notice, if I go and look at our industry screen, we do not have a lot of unemployed. We have a total of six unemployed people at Game Start. Uh, that's not enough to work a factory. So what we need to do is we need to go and grab ourselves some pops via conquest. So we are going to go and do my normal strat of invading Africa early on in the game um, in order to get some of that done. In terms of government, we start with a von Wittelsbach, which is interesting because this is like a North German and Dutch uh, dynasty, the Wittelsbach, uh, but he apparently is on our throne. Um, but we need to get some people in power and start getting him out of power and putting someone else up there. So let's go and bring in a lot of people, and we're going to try to get dedicated police force passed. The reason we're bringing in a bunch of parties is because everybody basically loves this except for the landowners. And so if we actually kind of throw the landowners out of power here. If I just do this and throw in the church, the petite bourgeoisie, and the armed forces. I could do this. Let's give it a try. I haven't tried this approach. I've normally tried the slow approach, but I want I just want to get the landowners out of here as fast as possible. So let's suppress them. We're actually going to bolster the intelligentsia and we're going to bolster the industrialists and hopefully use them in that way there. All right, that's all good. In terms of our diplomatic relations, we really need to get friends early on in this game here. Uh, we also need people to hate the Ottomans because we need to take land back from the Ottomans if we have any hope of expanding. GB will automatically let us into their customs union. That is awesome. We're going to join that right away, and then we're going to start improving with France here. That also gives us a reason for GB to want to help us against the Turks, which is going to be really important. Um, that's crazy. That's, that's a really good thing for us to start with. I've never had that happen before. So let's go ahead and pause. What I need to do is I need to go ahead and take... Uh, probably the larger army here. This actually kind of changes all the arithmetic. Now that GB has accepted us, we don't have to worry about too many things. I can go ahead and kick over goods that usually would not be good to kick over and just rely on GB to build out their customs union instead of ours. Also, I could do market squares and gas streetlights. All the stuff would be really good for us. Okay, that changes our arithmetic here pretty pretty massively. I still want the iron mine because it's still something that GB is going to have a shortage of. If you look at our new market here, um, show me the balance here. We need iron, we need groceries. Uh, those will be two of our main trade goods that we're going to do here. Um, and that actually means I can just go to iron frame buildings right away too. This is a really good, this could, it's potentially really good. We still need pop. Um, so we still have to go forward with our invasion over here, but that's going to be easy. Uh, let's go ahead and get the game running over here. Let's get a... As soon as our interest is declared, let's declare on War Singali. There is our interest, and there is our play. Attack War Singali. How does GB feel about us? They don't have an interest in this region, so it doesn't matter. I think they will get interest once we attack, though. Um, let's go and take the large army and get them ready to go and do a naval invasion of that region. Okay, this is interesting. Let's look at the Ottomans to start off. They have a rivalry with us and Russia. That's expected. Um, hopefully, they don't get too buddy-buddy with Austria, uh, or else we could be in a bad way. But hopefully, that won't happen, and we'll be all right here. We are losing money. Uh, it's expected. Uh, I need to do a consumption tax to get out of this. Let's drop this tax to an opium one instead. 
And then I'm going to drop the resource industry and do a services tax to kind of even out some of our funds here. And that's going to give us a good bit of early game funds that we can use to get some stuff done here. Let's go ahead and split the naval base production. I want the naval bases to be spread out a little bit here. Unacceptable government's going to speed a slow down our production here. Maybe I don't do this right away. Maybe I just throw the landowners in. Well, no. If I can, if I can suppress them, it should be fine. Let's do this. Oh, that's still not a lot. Frick. Um. No, keep them in. Keep them in. Yeah, keep them in. 18% chance here. Okay, let's do the animal vision. I'm wondering if that play on it is the good play with the, that law. 54% chance of debate is not amazing. But we really do need dedicated police force. Alright, let that march along. No, oh god, I can't believe they already start the game with explosives. That's wild. What's Egypt doing, by the way? We need to make friends with Egypt. Uh, we don't want them getting involved in any of our expansionist wars over here. What is this? Russia wants Aleppo, Lebanon, Syria, Adan, and Palestine. I thought the Ottomans normally do this, but you're going to let... Okay. That's interesting. Um, wow, not expect that. Also, this is strange. Okay. We want our little invasion over here. We're losing a ton of money. I need to stop what I'm doing over here. Do I have... Why are we losing so much money? There's just construction. Raise our taxes. And lower the government wages for now. So how is this going to go for them? Are they going to back down? They're confident. Oh, because GB's involved. Interesting. That's a big early game war. Quite big, I must say. Let's go and peace out of this. And let's keep rolling in this region here. Let's get this army just over here still. And let's take the next region over. Yeah, it looks like having an army race is very expensive, but we need the money and the funds for taking these Ethiopian lands. State actions. We're going to go ahead. Okay, you already are our production type. I could go to Anchorage to save money here. I think I well no, You know, over... Oh, yeah, we'll get rid of Anchorage. Did you actually make more money? Oh, I went to Anchorage. Was, that, was I wrong there? No, it definitely costs us more. Whatever, we'll still roll with it. Can I do another tax to get us more money? It looks like liquor is expensive. Look at our market here. Can I get any money by doing... Being the middleman in some of these exports here? If I do this, do we get the money from this? Because 45 units at 4.5 would be enough for us to get quite a dent into our production here. Let's try just one of these. Or for instance, this, right? 50 units at two is really good. And then if I just import 115 units at 37, I should be able to tax that, right? Maybe. We're just helping other people in our market. Tobacco could be a good one to do because we actually sell the tobacco. Okay with the money we're losing here. That's fine. It's just the subject of the war. Data police force is going to not succeed. Landowners are very pissed right now. Powerful in opposition from accessible government. Okay. Ooh, if this fails, we can just bring in the other guys. Get the industrial some power right away. And move fast.
Interesting little play style we're doing here. All right, there goes that. Magentine's quite strong. Let's consolidate this Greek army down into one army. Let's go and for now we'll keep him in the in this region. This shall be our African core. It's always what I end up doing in these games. Uh, we'll send him this icon so I know who he is. Throw a general over there. We'll just send a, uh, a brave armed forces man to the region. Let's get the tea plant. We think we have enough navy right now. Let's get the tea plantations built first. And how are we doing in terms of unemployment? Still not enough to go and do any buildings here. Come on, give me a good debate. Yeah, good debate there. Get that. Keep let's keep getting good debates. One in three chance of uh things going well. Alright, we're gonna attack Majratine over here. I think I might core this state. I think I might do it because I need the tax. We're really struggling to get some pop out of these guys. Let's just... Do I really do it? No, we're going to give this state up to our colonial administration eventually. Let's just attack Mazertine and not core the state. Mobilize our units over here. Our loss of money here is concerning. It's gonna get a food industry built in Attica. We're making money again. Now we're losing money. It's a tight light tight rope we walk right now. Okay, this should be a quick stop. Here we go. Yep, there goes Somali land, and the next will be Gelady. How are you doing? Probably with Russia. Russia is still in this other war. Not looking too hot for them. But that is fine. Come on, take it, please, for 16 days. Stay in the region, please. Popular playwright. Oh, it's only for five years. They changed it. Oh, I missed. Oh, they, they, they changed popular play right to where we no longer get the permanent prestige. That's that feels like a betrayal. It's my favorite event and it's just gone now. Paradox must hate me. All right, Lando's are pissed because they are not in power. So what we do here is we stop suppressing, just throw them in government. Oh, they're an interactionary. Yikes. Let's just, let's, let's tank it. Suppress them. Let's break an egg, as they say, to make an omelet. I think we can manage. Speaking of managing, how else people feel about this one? So Great Britain would side with us. Austria's about equivalent. Russia really hates both of us. GB should be enough for us to win it, though. But they're in a war, so let's wait for that war to get done and deal with our, our problems. 1.2 million GDP. That's good growth. Very good growth, actually. Uh, let's try to fight Galetti. I don't think this war is going to pop. I think we can manage it enough to where it won't. So we're going to try to use this. That's currently in the Balkans. Fuck. Uh, they need to get all the way over here. All right, African Corps, you need to defend this front, even though you don't have good troops. Also, this navy needs to just be stationed in the... Where does it matter? Um... Let's hope for they don't get the... Okay, there we go. They lost their approval. I will do racial segregation. That's fine. What is our radicals? We have a fifth of our pop being radicals. Is why that's popping. There's dedicated police force. That's a demand met. And they wanted us to do racial segregation. Let's do racial segregation then. 
Adaptation done. We're losing a ton of money. Okay, real quick, let's drop the... There we go. Drop our construction center because I cannot afford to do it. We're losing the money because we're military wages. I am 100% sure here. We'll make do. Okay, now that we have this, let's kick this up and do higher level of law enforcement. And let's keep suppressing them, uh, them landowners. Let them ride that line of being unhappy. Okay, there goes Gelady. We will take it. And I really want to eye up this Ottoman War next. One of these days I'll be able to pay people. We don't yet have an interest because we are not paying our government enough. We have one. Minting is really good for us right now, especially with the loan rate problems we have. We got Somali land. Let's go ahead and set this to being our production type. Let's make sure we're looking good in all of our production buildings and things. Uh, yes for harvesting tools. Yes for butchering tools. Do we still get a lot from hardwood? We do still get a lot from hardwood. Everything else is fine. Uh, yeah. Screw the Ottomans. Let's see it. Is it worth it? Is it worth the risk? I think it is. We might have to spend the need to GB to get this done. Yeah, we do. What is their demand from us? I just want war reps. Well, win me this. If you win me this war, GB, I'm fine with it. Come and win this for me. Let's go ahead and get the African core. Let's get both cores armies mobilized here. Are you still in the other war? No, you're not. Alright, so I'm gonna do this. I want more stuff. Give me Macedonia. Give me Albania. Right, if I'm gonna if I'm going to basically be dragging GB into a war to subjugate myself, let's take everything. We need to hold for the, the time it takes GB to arrive. Right, we're also going to do a naval invasion with this army that we have in Africa. We're going to open up a second front just to distract those troops. Alright, just go and help defend. I don't think there'll be any real effort there. Uh, this army is going to go and do a naval invasion over in Basra. Yeah, is anyone else coming here? 18 troops over there. Okay, more armies arriving. Good. That's 116 troops right there. Or is that a boat? Those are boats. <laughs> yeah. Good, though. Open up a front. No armies are coming. Just keep that front going. This is what's worrying me. We're holding. GB's winning. And have we now been their subject? We are now their protectorate. Okay, so pause. We've lost our independence from GB. But we can do other stuff. What if we go for wealth voting right here? Pissed off landowners enough that I don't like it. Um, well, now that we're the subject of GB, I don't care about the landowners, right? Because GB should come in and squash any uprisings we have. Right? I think that's the case. Let's get let's get the uh, the landowners in here real quick. Let's go for lazy affair. Well, let's just go. Let's start with landed voting just to not piss people off too much while we're at war, and then we're gonna do some aggressive law passing here. All a means to an end is what I'm gonna keep telling myself. We should be able to like make GB um, give up, right? Theoretically. We've also gotten a ton of infamy that's going to take forever to decay. decay. Uh, but it does decay pretty fast for us. 
Hmm. Need more rivals. Let's declare some rivals. Uh, let's get Wallachia. Ionian I well, let's get the Ionian Ioni Islands to like us, because we have a thing for them, and we'll do Serbia. So we have a, one journal entry we do have is for the Ionian Isles. If they are we can't actually do it, never mind. We have to be independent. Well, let's rival you. I'll just annex the Ionian Isles. So no one's gonna march over here. I guess we can just march towards Thrace. Oh, this army's not even advancing. Oops. Here comes GB. The might of the British Empire. It's going to win us a victory here. All right, we've pulled the other army out of there. A lot of the army's away from them. So let's go and just... I mean, we're going to sacrifice your lives here. Fight valiantly, please. Because you just absolutely made everyone leave this one front line. Speaking of, if I take my other big army that I have and just say naval invade the capital... Our navy is nowhere near in a spot to actually intercept that. That's not going to work, because I have to get them to come all the way around here. Well, around here. All right, we'll just lose this out, but it's going to occupy a lot of troops and waste their time while GP is doing their thing in this region in Albania. That's two of the war goals. This is the last war goal, is, is this region here. Because it's Thessaly, Albania, and Macedonia. There goes Macedonia. There goes the Ottomans out of the war. And huzzah! Okay, we can now incorporate these states. We should. We will do exactly that. And we are now a force to be reckoned with? Question mark? Maybe? Let's get things back to a stable baseline. Let's see how we're now looking after doing all of these actions here. Make sure everything looks fine. Dye workshops, leaded glass. We want to do all of those things. Uh, we have two of these. Get one of these to now be doing non-luxury clothing. Uh, likewise, let's have one of these guys run pot stills in Macedonia. That's all fine. Rural places. Can we now kick one of you guys over to using... When you should do fig orchards. Let's do... Let's do fig orchards in the wheat farms. Livestock's all well and good. Sawmills. Okay. I think we're looking good. Let's go ahead and pick up the filing cabinets now. And we have expanded. We took a, took a step out of the Turks. We have the 4th Greek Army over here, which is stationed in the Balkans, apparently. Uh, we need to jump them together with... Uh, let's just call this the Home Army. I can't... I'm not going to try to pronounce what that army is called. This is the Home Army. Uh, you are defending our capital, so... Defend it valiantly. That's a lot of good expansion that we have now. We have to be a little bit careful now that we have GB to worry about um, as their subject. Um, but we've expanded, so I can get another interest. Let's get that interest in Arabia. We want to take their lands here. We have 34 infamy. I need to make sure we, we are trending towards the, the negative here. So I need to do small conquests. I don't want to waste all my infamy fighting in Africa. It's not worthwhile. It's much better off if we can go and do things like attacking Mahra, which is like two infamy. We can use the one army that we have down here. Uh, let's get that Greek fleet to join that thing. And let's take this guy and actually station him back home in Greece. And go and just join that fleet again. Sometimes this forming up of the armies thing is a little bit, uh, a little bit shite. Okay, we need these troops to replenish their men, men power. Let's go and raise our taxes a little bit. I want—I don't want to be in this deep credit limit here, especially when we're paying 500 in interest. So let's get some of that to progress. Do we now have construction sectors? Do we get any of those? No, we're still lacking in those, but I don't mind being lacking in those while we're still having these credit problems. Uh, we'll want to get that stuff fixed, but not right now. Even though we do have uh, some investment pool we can now actually invest in, so that's a counterpoint that's worth considering. Alternatively, I need to stop what this is doing right now, because we don't have the bureaucracy to afford it. Let's go and look at our structures. Where do we have unemployed pop? Let's get one in Albania. Let's just keep it. Uh, scrap the current draft, whatever we're doing. Cross-border investment. Uh, sure thing. Landers don't hate us as much as they used to, which is cool. Landed voting is still... Well, it has people in favor of it, so that's good. 
Or let's go to iron frame buildings right away. I'll take the hit. It's worth taking the hit for this. Let's actually, while we're here. So is this its own, its own state, right? Let's see, what do we need to form Byzantium? Let's just take a look. We need... Oh, these are splits. Okay, never mind. This is weird how it says split. Well, it has our flags here. So we need just... We don't need the... Technically don't need the, the uh, Ionian Islands here, which is a protectorate under GB, which is interesting. All right, what do we do after intensive agriculture? We're getting mechanical tools. I like the spread of that. I wonder... I'd rather get line infantry. So we start getting colonization. Colonization. I think we do stock exchange, colonization, let that spread passively, double back over here and go for atmospheric engine pump, and water tube boiler would probably save us a lot, or we can go for, what's, steam donkey is what I really need, I need better production out of the things I do have. Actually, baking powder. So we're going to make a lot of money from the baking industries. Baking powder and canneries are really good, too. So we're just now queued up so many things. Uh, we're, we are good in our research queue for quite some time. Uh, we'll let that all go through here. Uh, these states that we've just integrated, can I just... Okay, let's get rid of the agriculture industry in Attica. We're big enough where we don't need that single uh, point of power. China just has established ties with us. Let's improve with China. So Albania, what do you have? You have bonus to agriculture and plantations. Yet you have none built. Okay. So 1.1, 1 0 0.73, 0.83. Let's get some vineyards built here. I want to take control of that throughput bonus. Even though there is a couple of resources. Does anyone else have any good bonuses here? Well, we do have our bonus to shipbuilding in our capital state. All right, now that we got into of agriculture, that actually is huge for us. Let's go ahead and do those things. Get that turned on everywhere. And let's see, we'll get less meat, but we get fertilizer, which is just better. Yeah, we'll do it. Our debt's paid off. We're in the green. Uh, you're getting attacked by who? Okay, it looks like Egypt has won. Which is awesome. Uh, who is it? Okay, so who are these people that are losing out of this? So we have Spiridon Zervinius. Zervinius. Brave Erudite. And we have this quick witted magnetism guy. So these guys is the armed forces, and this guy is the. I just want the bonus chance to get this passed. All right. Um, I need to put some jump cuts into this. We're going we're gonna to play the economic game a little bit, build up our industry. Build up some of uh, Albania, use some of our people to get our, our stuff up, and we're going to start uh, doing some expansion, I think. Maybe it's time we... I need to get some of our guys mobilized here and expand it. Can we actually... Here's an idea. This is risky. But Tuscany over here. Maybe we try to take back some of our Greek lands over here before we start to get Italy formed, right? Maybe we make a play for it? I don't know. We like Protectorate Tuscany for 9 Infamy, right? GB's on our side. Prussia would be against us, maybe. As would two Sicilies. Leaning towards a no there. Hmm. Okay, maybe we just don't do that. Instead, just take out Mahra. Can I actually go back to paying my people? I am paying my people. I need an interest. I need to... I want to do this. I want to give it a try at least. Let's just see. If I were just to throw it out there... One thing that pushes me up to the next infamy level... Let's just... Let's just test the waters. We won't actually raise any troops just yet. You... 
Okay, so you can do it to reduce my autonomy. So I got betrayed by my mother, my homeland, to reduce my autonomy. All right, we've decided to roll back the clock and not attack Tux T Tuscany. Because uh, fuck those guys. I'm just curious. Let's just take a look and see if there is a way for us to have guessed that Tuscany was going to... Like, do that against us. So, let's see. Tuscany, if we were to... Why can I not do... Okay, there's the interest. If I were to say protectorate, does it show anything on here that makes me think that Great Britain's going to support them over me? No, it doesn't. But if I declare it, it's guaranteed that GB is going to actually join against us. So, if like, let's try this one more time. All right, that screen shows that we are favored over them. Yet, if we do this... I'm not gonna do any actions here. Let me just let me just raise my army to see if like the power projection does something here. But they immediately join in against me every time. Every time. Um, okay. Wow. Here's another question though. If I were to do this and just say independence, does anyone want to support me in this? No, I'm not strong enough. Okay, so now we know not to do any of these wars. I'm worried that, like, that's going to be a common occurrence now. If I do, like, any wars against someone that GB doesn't hate directly, they might just try to kill me, right? Like, can I can I attack Spain? What happens if I attack Spain? Will they, tr will they, will they decide with their rival just to get their one subject and screw them over? I don't know. And that worries me. But that is the world we live in. I have my two construction sectors built still. I need to remember that. Um, I could lower taxes, or I could just keep investing in my construction sectors until... Also, give me an unemployed here. Let's just do two more construction sectors. For some reason, this isn't costing me a ton of money, which is strange. It worries me, but uh, we'll just deal with it. Maybe it's because our income's going at the same time here, but construction capacity is king for us, even if we don't have a ton of... Uh, a ton of unemployed pops. That actually, I had to think about that. Let's only do one sector here and let's instead try to get a university, I think. Do I have the tech to get a university? I almost have the tech to get. We are so, like, for a European nation, we might be the farthest behind, considering we don't even have the ability to get a university. That's kind of, kind of wild, considering this is Greece and, you know. Arguably the birthplace of, um, you know, philosophical thought with like Socrates and those guys. So uh, strange on that one, but whatever. Whatever. We're going to get that university built as soon as we can. What else can we do? We're losing our prestige. That's fine. Uh, we have some tax waste problems. Those are going away. We're still getting landed voting, or we were getting landed voting. It was paused for a second. Is our government illegitimate? Our government is illegitimate. Why is our government illegitimate? What is happening? Um, just do this to get them out of there. Simply be unacceptable instead of illegitimate, please. Thank you. That's now tanked our success chance of this thing passing. Okay, here's what we'll do. We'll stop pressing landowners and throw them in to get this passed. Come on in, landowners. We'll get this passed and then get rid of you and otherwise, so... Let's just deal with some of our radical problems that we've built up before this happens. Uh, who is this? This is the rural folk and the brigadier general who's a moderate. Um, let them fight. So there goes the land reformer. Instead, we now have a couple diplomats, and, and the rural folk is now a traditionalist. Great. I'll keep getting that assessment chance passed. Okay, I'm, I need to put more jump cuts in this. I've been being bad about that. Um, so I'm going to go ahead. I'm, am I getting supported? Like, what is... What is our money keeps going up despite me spending more money on other stuff. Like, are these guys working? Oh, it's not fully funded. Oh. This is going to absolutely destroy us when this gets fully funded, by the way. 
Why are you not hiring? Why this is the government sector? They should always hire. We're out of iron, I see, is a problem, but why why is a government sector not hiring? You should always be able to hire when you have this level of unemployment, right? Who's lacking qualifications? You need bureaucrats and machinists. So if I go to laborers here, would this get filled? I think it would. Okay, we need to build a university in that state then. All right, real quick, we are going to try to attack... Mahra, just to see how things play out. If GB decides against us, I'm going to cry because this is like <laughs> a broken patch. Directly, there is no reason why GB should sign against us in this kind of thing. Now, these are all guys I'm fine with not having popularity. Bring your main army over here too to deal with this because I just don't have a... My other African, my African core is not big enough to actually manage this kind of stuff. Let's go and let's keep stationing them in Africa, though. I don't want them to go all the way to Greece. Uh, we're losing money, but that's because of our military. Albania is still not actually staffing his construction sector, despite having. See, it's laborers now that you need, and you should have enough to do the laborers. When you have this many unemployed. So how does it tell? So we, oh, it's because we have twenty-five thousand laborers in total in the province, and you've got to train them, which is why we're building up our university to do that that way. Okay, interesting. Looks like GB did not get involved for this. That's good. What's happening over here? Austro-Hungary is at war with Prussia. Is this German leadership? It is German leadership, and the Ottomans are involved. The Ottomans are defensive pact with Jabal Shamar. In truce with us for 11 months. Okay. I think we're going to take over this whole region over here and try to get stronger because of it. Uh, we'll probably eat Oman or at least try to protect her at Oman. Hopefully Oman doesn't get defended by GB. That would be sad for us. Very sad. Okay, knock them out. We're just going to keep doing our conquest here like we're playing the other game mode. Like we're playing as Bahrain. Kasimids still hate us. Great Britain despises these guys. The French despise us as well. Let's uh, improve relations with some of these bigger powers over here that are seeing us get involved in regions that are uh, a little adjacent to them. I see this army already started walking away. Will you get here in time? Or do I have to bring the other one over? Yeah, I can see we're still at the base. We're actually like not getting any bonuses from having our massive construction sector here. Wasting my time to build this, I think. Let's go back to one of these just so I because I it's it's so weird here. Alright, there's land of voting. So we're gonna have our first elections now. Let's see how those shape out. And then I might need to pass other laws. What laws do I really care about? I care about getting the industrial some power. This Russian party is not good now. Well, the one downside of having this party like it is is that I can't move all these guys out without moving them all out together. All right, peace out. We'll do Leahy next. Or I just want to do the Kasimid state while I'm here. While I have my army available here, let's fight the Kasimids. I don't need an obligation for this. I'll fight them myself. You have Allegulars and Hussars. We should have some line infantry. Speaking of line infantry, it is spreading to us. We're getting colonization. Can use the thing over here. 
should be fine and dandy. Ottoman's down to 128 strength. There go the Kasimids. Bada boom, bada bang. They are gone. What is our ruler's traits, by the way? He's he's not the best. He's dirty though, so we can live a long time. Get a royal marriage real quick. We'll improve with Galatia. Get some more influence here. Improve with Russia, improve with you. I don't need to improve with you. Let's get another interest, this time in Zanj. And we get more, it seems, to get some in Anatolia. Proof of the East India Company. Oh, no, we don't. Worst school we can approve with. Um, yeah, get the approval. This war's over. And we're all good, I think. Yeah. Maybe I stop bullshitting the intelligence and use my points elsewhere. What would I use them on? Well, I could do some uh, remote... Uh, what is it? Uh, road maintenance. Yeah, we'll use it for that. Maybe I do another tax. An electric close tax would be good for us. I don't want to get a construction that they're built in our capital state of Attica. Or one in Yemen. You do have a lot of unemployed. Do it, do it in Attica, though. Again, not sure I'm going to keep Yemen around is why I'm doing it like this. Here's the Greek army. Let's send you to the Africa Corps. Though you are Arabian. I think that's enough for me to actually use this army in the war against Leahy and not worry about their power. So we will. Let's go and mobilize you. Uh, African Corps. Get over there. So what do we all get over here? Looks like we got some artillery foundries and other things. Artillery foundries kind of suck. Uh, get the furniture manufacturers to precision tools. Let's go ahead and get to the steel tools over here. Meaning I need to get a steel industry built. Uh, meaning I need to do iron too. Okay, let's go ahead and start getting the beginnings of a steel industry. Because exporting um, engines could be really good for us. So we're by unemployment. I don't have a ton. If I do agriculture instead, who are you? Yeah, get out of there. You want to put, you need to fill, fill the slot here, though. Do you have enough? You don't have enough unemployed to actually full hire here. Go ahead and advance that front. Okay, I think I'm just going to invest in more universities. I don't want to spread it out against our countries over here. Like, get one in Macedonia, Thessaly, Attica, and the mainland here. We'll just spread it out and work on getting our innovativeness up a little bit. That's what it's called, right? Or innovativeness. Innovation. Innovativeness is from EU4. I do want to change my religion laws, if possible. That will require me to bolster the intelligentsia, though, which I can actually do still. Let's bolster them. I don't want to forget about them. Okay, maybe I need to send my other army over here. So we're somehow losing to these guys. Vedic, defend front, please. Surely your numbers will just carry the day here. 
Thank you. Okay. I was I was too quick to do what I did over there. Get to the African Corps, please. All right, those guys will become line infantry eventually, just not, not yet. Oh, we do actually have some kind of school system already, which is actually really good. Okay, not terrible. Don't even have to raise our taxes or anything. Now, is the one in Attica getting staff? Now, this one can hire. Yeah, what the fuck? Why is the other one not doing anything for me? All right, I also need to upgrade everybody to the actual right weapons here. Upgrade all infantry. To courier sirs. Liz Affair is failing. I'm sorry, Liz Affair. I tried. I really did. All right, so we're losing money again, but that's fine. That, that was expected. I honestly thought this would be happening earlier. Uh, we have a cash stack we can blow through before we need to concern ourselves with any of that stuff. Let's, let's get the uh, the tooling workshop that was built in Yemen to get cranked up a little bit towards the top here. We should be able to do a war against the Ottomans. I'm worried about who will get involved, though. Rivalry's a lot of people. Rivalry's with Russia, who kind of likes us. Let's get Austria Hungary on our side. Let's get GP on our side. What would we go for? What's the best one? This is... GP-wise, would be Thrace. Also the biggest pop. Twelve. Let's wait till this war is over. We can do another war in the meantime. I just went and conquered her rare. Yeah, only the one state, right? Ten if me. Now, a little if we take down. Maybe we want to take multiple states in this war. Or at least try to. Focusing innovativeness early instead of what I normally do where I focus construction. I'm trying to get a de decent split of it. Don't get me wrong, I would do more construction if I... Uh, didn't have this thing going on in this state. Is the church at least occupied? Yeah, the, the church is full, or not the church, the university is fully staffed. Oh, production's been increased. What is this war? The Ottomans against Egypt. Well, let's see how that, once that war goes to combat, we are gonna declare ours. For sure. So they want to take Aleppo and Kara, and they just want the war reps. This is the event-driven war. Also, we need to get the U.S. to actually like us, since they're now a factor in these. So what is the what do we need for the, this thing to form? We need... Okay, we just need to kind of go east and get Thrace. So what if I do this and then take eastern Thrace and divide them in two? There's the Agia Sophia. Prestige... Bonus pop for the clergy. You don't really want the clergy in power, so maybe we hold off on the Agia Sophia. What's their best, like, production state, do you think? That's a million GDP. This one's got some iron mines. Anyone got coal in this region? Glassworks could be good for us. So could these textile mills. Opium plantations over here are cool, too. Interesting on everything. I want it all. Simply give me it all. This war is broken out, so we declare now. Uh, conquer Eastern Thrace. GB's leaning towards us. Serbia, Wallachia, Jabal, Shamar. What would you want for a war goal? Advanced slavery is 20 uses. If I call with the obligation, it's only 10. Let's offer them an obligation. And then I want... Oh, I'm now longer the leader of the war. Okay. So GB, we're giving them an obligation to turn for one province. I think that's fine. Yeah, Eastern Thrace is big enough. We get some tobacco plants. We get a, a bunch of other things. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Um, I'm not going to actually raise my army here. Hopefully, GB is enough to get them to win this. 
This affair is going to fail. Go ahead and stop this. We'll pass another time. We'll wait, she decided with the Ottomans. What will we pass instead of laissez affair. Free trade? Free trade. Screw the landowners. We're trying to try free trade. Um, who's this? This is this is the Russians. Or is that Wallachia? That is Wallachia. Okay, I think we'll arrive in time here. Tw yeah, tw twenty-two days for those guys. How is this war going? Egypt's winning. There goes Tripoli. I, I probably be surprised, but I think GB is going to win that fight against Wallachia. And all we have to do is give up our obligation to GB. How long does that obligation last? 10 years. Fuck me. It's a long time for a game that only has 100 years of gameplay. Okay, we won the dice roll there. Up to 4 million GDP. Not bad for our, our taking time here. Not bad at all. And how many do we need to form this, actually? Control over at least 12. So we need everything that's actually all the land for this. Okay. Uh, weaken the landowners, please. We'll not let you plot a coup. So this is just going to get Western Thrace. Okay, uh, what do we do next for our expansionist war? We have line infantry now. We can fight Oman with their tw 26 troops quite a bit. Maybe it's her rare time. We fight her rare. Lose some authority here. Move our army over here to this region real quick. And we're going to go and fight her rare next. Since I don't think this is going to be a problem for us. Okay, I thought we lost something here. Now we have Western Thrace under our control. We will immediately incorporate it. Reset production here. Uh, pot stills and crafts are showing us fine. So now we have some more of our glass factories. Quite a bit of it. Let's take the smaller one and produce ceramics, I think. And keep the main one producing its base goods here. Furniture manufacturers. I kind of want to do just base furniture in this. And textile mills is a decent spread here. Let's get the uh, Thessaly ones also to do craftsmanship. Just making sure we even out some of our production methods here so we don't go crazy. Do you have a construction sector? Is that why it's expensive? Or is it the... Hmm. Enemy's enemy. Uh... Upon success, the coup and obligation will be owed to Great Britain. Uh, we'll just give you some national strength. I don't want to... We already owe them an obligation, so I don't think you can get another one, but I'm not fucking risking it, for sure. Could raise tax deal with the problem that we have over here. Our army should be moving over here. Where is this? That's the Greek army we have over there. Let's fight her rare. No one should get involved. You should still be in your other war. Oh, you should like me. If they get involved, we might have a little, uh, ooh, little problem. We must get the African Corps involved. Come on, free trade. Roll lucky. There we go. One more time with that, and we're looking great. Here comes an election. 4% for the free trade party. You might want to join the free trade party. No one wants to join the free trade party. It's lonely for those who support free trade, I guess. Let's raise taxes right now. Coup worries me. Don't want the coup to succeed. Okay, this will be our last war in this session. I've, I need to put more jump cuts in. I'm, I've lost the knack for recording Vicky after all of uh, 
after all the time I've been spent playing other games. I've lost the uh, the knack for this kind of stuff, especially since we only got through four. Well, we got through 14 years in one F video. It's not terrible. Please don't have this be a successful coup. Said to the tune of uh, that one bit from the Magic School Bus. Election. Wow, we'll keep the same people in power. Who would have thought? It's almost like the vote didn't matter. All right, here comes Rare. We welcome you with open arms. Come and join us. The informant. Uh, please lose some strength. And there is free trade. Huzzah. Do we do more? I'd love to go wealth voting. Really would piss off the landowners, though. I uh, would love to go to, like, Parliament's Republic. Do I just force it through? No migration controls is actually really good for us. No migration controls. Let the people move. They have a will. Let it be Let it be seen. I bet you our contractors are now fully staffed is why we're actually losing stuff here. Yes, okay, so they finally have staffed the constructor. That's why we are losing money. That is what I will chalk it up to. Gold reserves are decreasing. That is fine. I don't completely care about that. 5 million GDP in the first video is not terrible. All right. I think we'll put a cut in. Uh, we've done it well so far. We're kind of shackled to the hip against GB, which is concerning. I'm worried about it who has an alliance with China, which is an interesting turn of events here. They will probably keep that alliance the whole game, um, which is still still worrying. So we're going to have to break free of GB. I don't know how we're going to do that. Uh, it, it's worrying. We'll, we'll see what happens. Um, but as long as we can form Byzantium, I'm fine. Like, I'm fine if we stay protector at the whole game. It doesn't really matter to me. I don't have a super goal here. I just want to see what it's like to form Byzantium in uh, Vicky. So we'll try it out. Um, I gotta get back in the knack of recording Vicky. It's been so long for me. Uh, so bear with me as I as I it's still rough these first couple of games. But for now, uh, I'm a cosplayer. I hope you guys enjoyed. I've been Sean with Blue Screeners, and I'll catch you in the next one. Later.